Colin Strickland, the person who seemed to be the reason why Caitlin Armstrong and Anna Mariah Wilson knew each other, testified Friday. Strickland says he and Armstrong dated on and off for years. And during a break, he had a brief romantic relationship with Wilson, but were then just friends. Strickland says Armstrong would confront him about communicating with other women, including Wilson. On the stand, Strickland laid out a timeline of where he was the day of the murder. He says he went on a three-hour bicycle ride, rode his motorcycle to a dentist appointment, picked up Wilson from her friend's garage apartment she was staying at. They went swimming and had something to eat. Then he dropped her back off. Strickland says he didn't tell Armstrong about these plans and made up an alibi. Strickland says he got home, tried to get a hold of Armstrong, but couldn't, so he started prepping his bike for the upcoming race. Armstrong is accused of killing Wilson during this time period. Strickland says Armstrong eventually came home in her black Jeep and everything seemed normal. The next day, he says he was shocked to find out Wilson had been killed. He was taken in for questioning while a search warrant of his home was issued and executed. Items found in the home and Armstrong's black Jeep included a Texas license plate, a passport card belonging to Christine Armstrong, foreign currency, and two 9mm handguns. Strickland says after six and a half hours of questioning, he eventually went home where he was greeted by Armstrong. And they started talking about the day of the murder. Strickland says Armstrong told him she went to a waxing appointment, a yoga class, and then visited a healer. Never mentioned Wilson. The next day, they met at a coffee shop because Armstrong was paranoid there were microphones in the home. Strickland left and never saw Armstrong again.